Hello guys, today we're going to be installing Mono for C Sharp development. So go on your favorite browser and type in Mono develop. Go through the download section and go under the Windows tab. Click where it says download GTK pound and download the Mono 64 bit version. Save this and also download this as well. This is if you're going to be uh, running application base on um, Microsoft.net. So also download that. All right. So what we want to do is we want to install both of this. But first, we want to do is we want to install the Mono first. All right. Let's click on that, and you should get uh, Windows like this. Click Next. I already have this installed. So what I'm going to do here is just repair it and that should go ahead and repair all right what's going to do is pretty much go through the setup and the install and once this is done i'll be right back now it's done so you can just go ahead and click finish next what you want to do is you want to install the gtk sharp File. click on that and also install that as well so you get a pop-up windows like this hit next and since I already have this install I'm gonna go ahead and repair it as well so, so you guys can see the install process it's gonna ask you to make changes to the app click yes and it's gonna go ahead and do the installation this one shouldn't take long and it's done now what I want to do is we want to set the path so that we'll be able to compile C sharp files using the terminal or command prompt. For this, you need to go to your PC and type in this. All right, and this should bring you up here. So what you want to do first is, you know what, let's just do this. Uh, go here and click on properties and this should give you this little window right here. Next thing, what you want to do is you want to go to your C drive, go to the program files and find a folder called Mono. All right, so here we go. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna go into the bin folder and then just copy this entire um, directory. All right, once you have that, you can go ahead and close this window Next, go to your advanced system settings and you should get another window like this. Go to environmental variables or environment variables and down here find path. Click on the edit button and you can see that I already have the directory for the mono setup here. What I'm going to do here is just going to go ahead and delete this and I'm going to go to new and just paste what I copied earlier or you can just type it in as well manually it still works then click OK click OK click OK and we can close this down now what we want to do is we want to check to see if mono has been installed successfully so we can open up the command prompt to terminal so I'm going to type in CMD uh, you can use whatever shell you want so for example I do have a uh, git bash as well so use git bash here all right so if you go under here and you type in uh, mono dash v this will give you the current version that we just installed right here and you can do the same thing here with the command prompt if you type in mono dash v uh, you get exactly the same thing. 